Welcome, 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 everybody, and hello. This is a live stream. Uh, well, it's live, obviously, because we're recording it live, although when you see this, it might be a pre-recorded live stream. Of course it will be. So what are we doing today? Well, I'm going to create a work of art on the pan, spin, and a tilt table behind me. But also today, we are doing some trials with some new camera settings. What am I talking about? I'll tell you in a moment. But right now, we're going to roll the titles. Okay, welcome back. Right, thank you for joining us and for tuning into the video. We've got lots of things to talk to you about while we're on air. This is live and unedited, I assure you of that. Uh, right, so we've got Corner Cam. Now, Corner Cam, we've done a few settings on. We're playing with things like saturation, contrast, gamma, all those kinds of things to help give you a better experience when we're live streaming, which don't forget is every single Wednesday, 7.30 p.m. GMT, you can find some links down below and you can watch all the live streams from the live stream playlist which is available on the channel plus you can also visit the website again there's a link down below and click the live tab and you'll never ever miss it brilliant fantastic right so corner cam we've done i think next we'll go to pgz buddy and then uh, let's have a look at that so there's camera number two which is also on a slider which gives us some really quite awesome there you go uh, angles which is quite quite interesting there we go i'll keep straight look so you can see what i mean excellent stuff right we've also got overhead cam as well i'm going to go over here uh so i'm going to the other side of the table i'll explain the table in just a second for those of you who've never seen this before and finally we've got roam cam which is what i'm pointing at over there now we're going to be able to move roam cam as i come around and show you exactly what i mean we can move that into all kinds of positions there you go where else can you see that on the internet you can't i'll tell you there we go here we go there's the paint bench and there's us. That's what we do for a living. Available on all of the major channels. Look, we, we are we are Facebook. We're YouTube, obviously, that's where you're watching it. We're at Pinterest. We're on LinkedIn. We've got really big growth coming on Instagram. Tons of cool things over there. And also Twitter. And believe it or not, we're also on TikTok as well. Please go give us a follow. And of course, you can see the website with all the amazing artworks that we're creating. Uh, over there at suarez.co.uk awesome thank you very much right that is that so we'll be moving roam camera around a little bit to give us some really interesting camera angles as things progress we're going to pop it over by the bench just for now and uh right okay fantastic so here's what we're going to do today so we're recording this predominantly so that we can measure to see what youtube is doing to the camera settings so roam cam has got some settings on it the PTZ, the slider cam has got some on, and then corner cam and overhead cam. Again, we've got different settings on those, and we want to see which ones are working the best so that when we're live streaming again this coming Wednesday, we're hoping to get uh, some uh, better quality experience for you all. This is the kind of effort and uh, work that we put into making our streams the best they can possibly be. Great, so we're on overhead cam now. What can I tell you about this? Well, this look. I don't know if you can hear that. That's how I sound in the mornings. <laughs> um, this this is the amazing pan, tilt and spin table. We used this last Wednesday, created an amazing, amazing work of art. I will show you that because it is lying here in the pod. I'll show you that very shortly. So I've set it, I've taped this. This is just a spare piece of canvas because... Oh, the other camera's gone dark, has it? Do you want me to pull the plug, bud? Let me let me pull the plug. Let me pull the plug. Suddenly everything went dark. Sorry about that. The screen might go blank for a moment. Let's reboot it. Let's see. There, there you go. You see, look, this is all part of us having to uh, play with an experiment with things that are going on. Okay, right. So that's all part of the fun. Okay. So we're going to bring that back around so you can see what's going on, and I'll show you what's going on. There we go. I'm I'm back in the room. Hurrah! <laughs> Right. I'm, I'm going to unplug my mic, look, I can hear this. 
Okay, I thought, I thought this budget Okay, <laughs> I was trying to give you an idea what, what was happening. This, this because we've had to wind up the bolts fairly tightly on the side, it's wood against wood, and of course I've got this... It sounds like a Canada goose being crucified, it's terrible. Um... <laughs> So now you've got an idea of what the table sounds like when I try and rotate it. But this is the piece of equipment. Look, isn't it great? We can spin it around. We can do all sorts of crazy things. I've, I've, oh, the camera's gone dark again. I don't know what's going on then, mate. Okay, now we're, we're having fun, aren't we? This started really well, and now we're having camera problems. Okay, they're just going to do some super whiz bang things. Let's see if we can sort it out. Right, I'm going to carry on talking while he's doing that. So anyway, well, this is what's going to happen. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to use a, uh, a mixture of monochrome. So we're going to go black, white, copper uh, on this today. And I'm going to create a really nice work of art. Um, I'm actually using the catch canvas that we have from Wednesday night's live stream because it's a spare piece that I've got. Um, and like I say, this is a test. We're just going to have some fun. I just want to make sure that everything's all right with the cameras and to give ourselves a bit of a comparison test. So just for fun. I, uh, I'm going to get some paint on now, and I'm going to start with some white. So here you can see me then with the white. There we go. So I'm going to take it straight from the can. This is going to go. I'm going to have lots of white. I'm going to spread it around a little bit. But most importantly of all, then we're going to start and let gravity do some work. So this should start to look pretty cool, all right? So I'm going to go over onto this side, and I'm going to get a fairly liberal skadooshing of white paint on, particularly as well, because I need to cover up all that. So we're going to get that on, which is nice. I like it. And we're going to move that around a little bit, just at the top here. Then I'm going to get some more, and then we're going to get some, some of the black on. So this is going to get quite quite thick in its application. It's nice to get some of these little droplets uh, that were formed by catching the paint on Wednesday night. Bring you we're on Friday now, so it's just 48 hours ago. Well, probably just like less than that. But crucial thing is I just want to get some white on. Uh, just get some of these lumps and bumps kind of dealt with. The more paint, actually, with this technique that goes on, the better. Um, it is pretty cool. Actually, when you see what happens when we start to put the black on and the chrome, it's going to look pretty amazing. Uh, but I do want to get just this proprietary coat on just, just to start with, you know, just to try and cover up some, some, of the, uh, some of the colors that went on. Okay, we're just getting that spread out now. It's lovely. Now, wherever you're watching this or whoever you're with or whatever you're up to, I hope your day's going pretty well. And so we've been uh, sweating the small stuff with all these settings and trying to wade through monitor upgrades uh, with uh, a special HDMI capture card into the back of our PC and use that as an opportunity to get uh, the air duster on it and give it a bit of a maintenance uh, going over. Right, so Age has just given me a bit of information about uh, our stream health, which is interesting. So we are trying a much higher stream rate at the moment to see if that has any impact, but we've already had a warning message, it's telling me we've had a warning message about it. <laughs> so I don't know, don't know quite what will happen now as we progress. Hopefully, we've got a good stream health. Okay, yeah. suggesting, yeah. It's probably because we're hogging all of YouTube's bandwidth at the moment. <laughs> Processing this. Yay! Yeah. Which I find hilarious, to be honest with you. Uh, that would be funny, wouldn't it? Sorry, no, YouTube is down because those boys over at Suarez decided to up the rate at which they're streamed, the bit rate. <laughs> that would be hilarious. Okay, so, <clears throat> while, we, while we're testing, and, and Aid is going to go, we'll be doing uh, his usual swap through all the camera settings. Uh, when we look back at this on YouTube, uh, we'll be able to hopefully, between us next week, is figure out and assess... Uh, which of the settings is working best because like i say the whole point of this there we are we're on the all camera shot now one of my favorite shots the whole point of this is that we're trying to to make our experience better so that when you tune in on a wednesday and i do highly uh encourage you to do so because it is awesome and we have a we have a proper good laugh and we have a real strong community here who um 
who turn up every week and enjoy what we do. You know, there's nowhere else. Uh, on the internet, you can get four cameras, live art being done, and live chat, all interactive as it happens. It just doesn't exist, I know, because we've checked. Um, okay, and I'm sure Age is, uh, yeah, Age is just doing a few tweaks as well on things like brightness and contrast as we're sort of progressing. But that's it, really. I just wanted to get, get a little bit of white on. That's the white done. Right, so let's get in with some copper and some black, shall we? This is where the fun's going to start. I'm going straight from the tin. Okay. And uh, because this is probably just here where the bulk of that paint dripped on on Wednesday, we're going to start over here. We're going to start in this corner. And we're going to see what happens. Right, so just let that start to form and gently sort of uh, have a little little play of itself across the top of the canvas. We'll, let, we'll have a bit, a bit more of an angle on there. Now this is going to have a reaction to what's already gone on in the white. And then onto that I'm going to do the copper. I'm going to start down this side of the copper, I think. Now a lot more gloopy, a lot thicker. But, uh, there we go. So I can't talk and work at the same time. Oh, lucky you. Uh, right, let's just get that over there. Uh, I'll give it a few minutes, buddy. Maybe just asking me about the extractor. I don't think we need it on just yet. Okay, and then we'll 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 get in with the white. We'll put a dollop there. Um, we'll go for a dollop there. And I'll pop some silver on as well. And then we're going to start attacking it with some thinners. Not a huge amount today. But we, nevertheless, we are going to get our thinners out. Now, I did have a small tin of silver somewhere. And in <clears throat> me tidying things up now, I've misplaced my tin of silver. It can't have gone very far, can it? Because I haven't thrown anything away. So what I would very much like is my can of silver. Okay. Doesn't look like that's happening anytime soon. Right, okay, let's push that down a little bit, encourage it to move. Uh, in the meantime, it would be really nice if I could actually find a little cannon. Got it. There it is. I knew it was here somewhere. Right, so we're going to pop a silver on as well. Now, if you've not seen these before, I am painting with enamel paints. Very, very toxic, very dangerous to my health. And that's one of the reasons why, well, the reason why. I wear breathing apparatus, um, and then Aidy's going to pop the extractor on very shortly, but not right at this second. Right, okay, so let's, uh, we're on overhead, yeah, so let's pop that up, let's give it a bit more of a, a an angle on it, and now, let's see what happens. So I'm going to start spraying now to encourage this uh, to start moving. The rate at which the copper is going to move is going to be a lot less than all the rest of them. Mm. So let's see what happens. Right, we'll let that have a little, little sort of uh, sort itself out. I might have to encourage it with the tool of choice, which is my um, grout spreader, um, and hopefully now this should we should be starting to cover up some of the paint that was on it beforehand. Lovely, thanks mate. And you just give me some stats about the uh, health of the stream. Yeah. Hi guys. So I'm just checking to see what we've got in the way of CPU usage and uh, what our output is, what drop frames we've got, things like that. So I'm talking to Ed about that. So at the moment we have 14 minutes in, we're 812 meg recording. Um, CPU is good, 7.6%, doesn't really go above 10%. We've got a pretty comprehensive computer to work on things like this uh, a few skip frames here and there but we're looking pretty good and that's that's really what i'm doing in the booth so to say testing i'm i'm looking to see what it's actually doing whilst ed's doing the uh, artwork so just so you know what's going on <laughs> okay thanks for that mate right so i'm gonna start and move some of this around now this is where having the white to begin with 
really starts to, to sort of play to my advantage now because now I can start and move while it while the paint is moving uh, with the direction that I want it to go and I can start to pull certain elements out to other places and spaces um, so things can start to, to sort of really work in my advantage now which is quite interesting so we're going to have a little skadoosh around with some of this stuff And of course, then I'll be moving it in the opposite direction as well very shortly. So let's just get that moving. Okay, let's turn and let's, yeah, I think let's see what we can send over to this direction. So this is where I'm looking at things like flow rates or how fast things are moving, whether they're moving quick enough, or I need to make them move faster, etc., etc. Let's get some of this worked out towards the edges. It's nice reasonable so far yeah happy with that that's nice that's opening up look at that opening up those little chasms so seeing as we're going in this direction i'm then gonna i'm then gonna pull this but that's just yeah it's really nice here look so I'm getting all these, these contrasts very nice sort of going on. Watching very closely how these how this the sort of rise and fall is going. The more I thin the paint out, the the more control I'll have a little bit later on. Uh, so I'm trying to inbuild a little bit of what happens afterwards into it. It's very difficult to explain, but I know what I mean. Right, so I'm going to scoop some of this up from down here. Let's pull that over there. So it's been so important having this this base on to begin with with the coppers with the copper on um right so i'll tell you what we'll do we'll now get this round and we'll take it back the other way so let's take it back there actually let's go a bit more severe you just want to be really 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 careful on, on how many turns i do and what those turns look like so hopefully now you can see all the copper kind of mixing together it's start to look really quite interesting that now there we go some real nice nice sort of blends coming on certainly down there it's going to come past the camera while that's moving i want to bring this up here And then get some of these sides done. Try and blend all this together. Yeah, that's nice. Right, let's let's bring that up. Uh, and let's see what we can bring in down here. So I'm going to scoop and take some of this and bring it down to here. And let's give ourselves a few little scoops because I want to try and feel the painting out to this end. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, that's that. That's good. I like that. Let's bring that round there. Okay, that's good. Um, so I think while it's down here, let me just have a little look. What do I need to do here? Whoop! There's some clean film coming off. <laughs> supposed to try and protect the the board underneath. It isn't working too well today, is it? <laughs> so I just want to try and feature some of of the the depth of the paint over into the areas where it doesn't have any because again those are going to start to form as well and then we can try and lighten up some of these areas as well into the black that'll be nice and let's try that it would be nice and then i'm going to decide what else i need to spray i don't want to give it too much these are nice opening up in the middle in fact a little, almost crease of lime green happening so let's bring that round and then what i think i'm going to do is bring another a small element of the copper uh, just into this area here. That's it. That's all it needs. Doesn't need a lot. Now, there's a couple of areas I'm going to need to move. So let's give the copper, just that line, a bit of a spray. It's going to encourage it to start moving. That's really nice. Um, the edges are looking reasonable. 
trying to make sure my distribution is okay. So I want to get one more black line down here. There's a little I made from the other day. Uh, it's left over from Wednesday. So let's just get that sort of heading back around there. That's fine. I'm going to give that a little spray as well. Just that. Just leave it a moment because when I turn this now, I need this really to start reacting. So, um, copper's fine. It's had its thinners. That's going to start moving. Let's have a whiz round. I forget that I can walk. I, I can just turn this. I don't have to walk around. <laughs> Silly, isn't it? Old habits die hard. Uh, right. Okay. Happy with that. It's not looking too bad at all. I'm going to get my scraper and I'm going to tease this out just a little bit. And then over to there because I need so I need a little bit of that warm that copper just featuring there a little bit. They'll, that'll form some really nice little rivers. Okay, we're just going to delineate the black just slightly here. Scrapers are really nice. This is um, it's just a, a small one. It's just yeah, like a filler a filler knife, you know that kind of thing. Yeah, probably pop the extractor on now, mate. And you'll be back in a moment. I'm going to redistribute some of that just around here. That's looking really nice. Okay, time to have a little look around the edges. Um, three, two, one. And there we go. Extractor is on. Hopefully you can still hear me. I'll keep talking. Right, okay, that's not looking too bad now. So I've just got to figure out where it is there and then I'm going to do the last of the spins. So I think we'll give that a little rotate. See how we're getting on. So we have got some paint coming off on the floor, but that's not too bad. We can cope with that. Right, okay, which one are we on? We're on overhead, aren't we? Right, so let's see which way are we going to move this. Make sure the cling film stays where it is. Okay, I think then we're going to go that way a little bit. And then we'll send it back the other way. No, maybe that way. Yeah, that way a little bit. See what happens now. This is where I have to keep a really close eye on everything. Make sure that I'm achieving what I want to achieve. Right, I'm going to stop that there. Let's have a rotate. Let's go back around again. Um, we're going to pull that. Um, do you know what? I'm just going to get rid of this because it's not working. All right, let's get rid of that. And let's get rid of that. It's all stuck to my hands. So let's try that again. And then we're going to give it another rotate. Right, okay, so um, I think I'm going to go back this way just a little bit. Some incredible shapes and textures are starting to form now, which is really nice. Right, yes, I can hear you. Ada just changing his microphone. Uh, microphone batteries. Right, so I'm going to change the angle now. We're going to go quite severe. And I've got to be very careful now. This is literally only just going to be probably 20, 30 seconds at the most. Show you on Rome camps. 
see if I can show you some of the close-ups on that. Oh, that's on me. All right, let's turn it around. So this is the point I'm I'm now letting the, the, the elements form as I need them to, but being very careful to look at things like flow rates. Mm, these things can have a habit of biting you very, very quickly. So, so far, so good. Right, I'm going to turn back now, mate. I need to turn back. Yeah. Okay, right. Okay, we're making some progress now, folks, which is great. Okay, corner's looking good. Now, do I need to come back? So I'm just going to come back slightly on the diagonal. So I'm just going to come back this way. So if you can see in the corner camera, in the, in the top right, that's what we did last week. <laughs> there we go. Uh, well, on last live stream anyway. Now that gives you an idea of what we did. Then this was done on the pan and tilt and and spin table on this piece of equipment and that was done on Wednesday night it's been pretty amazing so very very happy with that okay looking pretty good some really nice shapes starting to appear now let's give you a proper 360 view of that very interesting very interesting yeah, 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 they are, just look, yeah, like that looks very, AD saying looks very linear. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? We've got, much, in, amongst all what looks like apparent randomness, we've got some order, which is really nice, which is really interesting. Don't normally get that kind of thing. Right, let's actually give it a proper rotate and see what happens. Never really spun one of these around at any great kind of speed while it's been in this position. So it'd be quite interesting now just to play with that, with the physics of this um just for a moment or two and see what's happening there you go I promised you something this is it now you've, you've stayed on board for this well done everybody all right let's give that a spin see what shapes open up now this is uh part of the experiment <laughs> <laughs> oh dear i don't know if that's actually done anything it's maybe widened them all a little bit yeah i think this has definitely got bigger here maybe some of these have uh, let's just do that another couple of times because that's quite fun. <laughs> you might see that strange effect where it almost looks like it's a circle on the screen. Um, you know, it is, uh, get, 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 get ready when it stops. There. <laughs> there we go. Right. Let's straighten that back out again. Okay. And um, there we go. Right. So. Oh, sorry, I've just hit the overhead again. Uh, right, let's just straighten that out. Right, okay, so if you're enjoying this, folks, then please do give us a thumbs up. That would be awesome. 
because it then shows YouTube that you're interested, which of course you are because you're still watching it, and uh, you're more likely to get awesome stuff like this, including us when we next broadcast. Also, if you're not already subscribed, please go ahead and click the subscribe button, click on the bell icon, because this is a pop-up live stream. You never know when we're going to do something exciting like this, and we don't want you to miss anything, so thank you very much. Click on the subscribe. We've also got our Patreon account, which is amazing, exclusive access to everything before anybody else ever gets it. And you can find a link down in the description. So go check that out. That's our Patreon page. And we're also giving away unique Suarez original artworks. I kid you not. Go check it out, guys. Thank you very much. Right, back to the action. What have we got going on? Well, things, I think, have nicely stabilized now. You can probably see on the overhead. Look, we're still moving. I mean, there is still things going on all over the place. But I have to say, that's, that's coming out really nice. So while you're on overhead, let me give you a little... A rotate now we're getting some some sort of paint just starting to coagulate which means that it's it's flow rate is, is slowing down because the curing process has begun um albeit very 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 slowly so what i'm going to do we're going to park that and i'm going to get reasonably level which i think that is we're going to give you a look on Rome cam and show you some of those amazing details that are going on right let's see if we can do this all right as i go over now we have got the glare of the lights going on but you can just see there the smokiness and these blends are all starting to, to take some shape now. We're starting to get a real personality coming out in the painting. Almost looks like storm clouds over there, doesn't it? Or something brewing, which is incredible. Or maybe some topographical map of somewhere. So we get some really nice blends. Right, I'm going to move around the other side. Well, actually, let's go around here, look, so completely different things going on. You can see all the cells going on, which is a reaction, a chemical reaction happening in the paint as we speak. That silver has really added a, a nice element. There wasn't an awful lot of silver, but it's added this great element to it. The black is obviously the, the finality, the chasms, and yet, when you come around the other side, the, um, the, the glory of adding the other tones in, of course, is that things mix together, you start to get unbelievable tonal variations particularly there look where you start to get elements of all of the colors mixing together and it is quite extraordinary the kinds of effects that you can get uh, with these paints and of course if you uh, if you've been practiced with them like i have for the last 13 years so some really really great and interesting shapes starting to appear now and of course this will continue to develop especially down this white in the center that's probably the standout bit at the moment um oh right so is it oh camera's back on there yeah i don't know yeah the yellow light's on there we go we lost the camera for a second oh no it's gone again right okay i'm going to leave that over there then uh, for now right so it looks like i'll be getting another cable <laughs> oh it never stops does it Right, let's turn that round. But this is looking pretty good. I'm going to, I'm going to just leave it there. This is quite a very, very good. Nothing! You lose! Good day, sir! <laughs> okay, right. I think, uh, I think, yes, definitely I'm going to... Um, we'll, we'll leave that one there. But that's looking really nice. Let's give you one last look on overhead. There we go, look. You all agree? That's looking pretty awesome. Right, we don't want it to flow anymore, so let's get it roughly horizontal. Uh, so it can dry. Okay, I'm happy with that. Right. Okay, let's turn that that way. So that's pretty good. Very, very, very happy with that. Uh, right. Okay, I'm going to leave that there. That's that's our test concluded. <laughs> Have you enjoyed that? Please do drop your comments in the comment section down below. Would please give us a subscribe and hit those thumbs up. That would be awesome, guys. Remember, we're live every single Wednesday of the year at 7.30 p.m., that's GMT, the UK time. We can't wait to see you. Follow us on YouTube and you'll get a notification when we're live and broadcasting. Can't wait to see you there. But for this particular video, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.